RAC. Okay, good stuff. Take out the textbook now. Okay, I'm going to go through the first topic and that is called sets. Okay? Now, this sets is a very simple concept, but I need your cooperation because it's also very pictorial. You know what pictorial? It's picture. Okay? Now, what do we mean by sets? Alright? Now, in English, right, we will say a flock of sheep, la, a group of students, la, right? A flight of stairs, la, very difficult, right? That's very easy. It's just a set of books, a set of stairs, a set of students, blah, blah, a set of everything. That's all. But a set must be well defined. Understand? You cannot chin chai define a set and then tell people it's a set. It's called absolute nonsense, okay? Now, let's look at page 3. Okay, don't talk with me. Page 3. In everyday life, we often encounter a collection of objects such as a pile of books, so on, right? Okay, to describe different collection of objects. Money, money. Index, very simple, a set of things. Okay? In mathematics, we use the term set to describe any collection of well defined and distinct objects. Distinct means they must be different from one another. Okay? Now, next, for example, if we let S be the set of all the vowels in the English alphabet, we can list all the members or the elements of S in set notation. Now, set is usually like that. You can say A or B is always capital letters. Then the elements is either called the elements or the members. But mathematically, we call it elements. Okay, now, I think you know, right? Vowels in the set of number words is A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so this will be A, E, I, O, U. When you list the elements, it must be in curly brackets. No other brackets. Is that clear? Each element is comma. Understand? Now, for example, if I define set B as students in 403, then, of course, I will start with, let me start. Correct. All the way until the last one, Jin Yang. Jin Yang. So, I will have how many elements here? 32. Do you understand? Can or not? Now, if the letters are not vowels, what are they called? Consonants, uh, you must know this. Uh. Vowels means A, I will you. Consonants means other than A, I will you. Understand? And how many alphabets are there? 26. Is that understood here? Because set theory is very much linked to probability later. Okay? The sample space, we have to give it in set notations. Everybody clear? So this is called listing out the objects. Okay? Now, then I'm going to teach you some symbols. Huh? I'm going to teach you some symbols, okay? Now, let's do set A first. I don't want to confuse people, okay? Now, can you see that E belongs to set A? So, E is an element of A. This is the symbol for is an element. Now, how to write it? C with a straight line. Understand? Okay? Now, I want to know now, usually when I write Z, I put a stroke in the middle, so to differentiate between two. Uh, because some people write two, one become two. Z. If I write this, is this correct? Is Z an element of A? No. So, how do we write it's not an element, we just drag it off. So, Z is not an element of A. Um, is everyone clear here? Is everyone clear here? Okay. Uh. Now, next thing. Next notation. What do you mean by this? This one means number of elements in A. Now, how many? Number of elements is just a number. There are five elements inside. So it's five. Everybody okay? Can I? Yes or no? No, then I'll ask you. Just now I say two, right? Arista, then after that, you see that, right? What is the number of elements in A? It will be 32, right? Because there will be 32 elements. You understand what I'm talking about? 
yes or no? Number of elements means how many elements are there in that particular set. And when you name a set, it must be in curly brackets. Everybody clear? Okay, and comma. Understand? Okay, now, so what I've done so far is, is an element of, is not an element of, and number of elements. Is that clear? So these are the first three. Everybody okay? Alright, good. Now, next, we go on to the next page, the class discussion. Huh? I'm going to just roughly tell you what is called well defined and so on, okay? Alright. Let us take a look here. But as you do more and more, this one will become very clear to you. Understand? So don't go and uh, stress yourself like, oh wow, I don't know, I want to die. No, no such thing, okay? So let's take a look here. Look at the class discussion there. Don't need to go in fast report as a class. Let H be the collection of all handsome boys in the class. Is H a set? The answer is no. Because the word handsome is not well defined. To me, it's handsome. To you, it's like she. And I don't say that. So this is not a well defined set. Everybody clear? Everybody clear? They thought I will summarize. Now, next. Let T be the collection of two identical pens. How would we write the list? How should we list the elements in T? P, 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 or P1, P2? Now, even if you have two identical pens, they are different, right? It's distinct, right? This is P1, this is P2, right? You cannot say P, P, only got one. Then P, P, then how? Who is P1? Who is P, P, P? You understand? Okay, so I'll teach you again later. Then next one, number three. Let S be the set of letters in the word clever. How would we list the elements? Okay, now clever. They use the alphabet. The E is actually the same E. Correct? Right? Because in the alphabet, there's only 26. Huh? You cannot say E1, E2, the count, you don't have one. Huh? It's just E. Am I right? Okay, so let me just reiterate this. Huh? Let's look at page four at the bottom after the class discussion. In general, a set is not any collection of objects. The set, the objects in a set must be well defined and distinct. This is important. Okay, now let me explain to you. In the above, we cannot write T as PP because the elements PP are not distinct. So actually, we have to write the pairs one. Huh? Do you agree it's P1 and P2? Pen 1 and Pen 2. Oh, they are identical. Okay? Can or cannot? The handsome boys one also not well defined. Understand? Because it's not specific enough. Okay? Now, next one. Okay? However, in question three, okay, wait, I, I finish off uh, explaining number two first. In the above discussion, we cannot write T as PP because the elements in PP are not distinct. As there are two distinct elements in the set T, the two identical pens are distinct. We have to write P1, P2. Can you see? Okay, next one. However, in question 3, okay, the letter E is not distinct in the word clever because it's the same letter E that is used to form the word. Therefore, the set will be C, L, E, D, R. Because every element is only to be listed once, not twice. So can you see that I don't have the E here because it's the same E that I'm using. Okay? Alright? Just for your information first. Later on, when we do more, you'll be clearer. Everybody okay? Can or cannot? Can or cannot? Okay? Alright, good. So, next up, there are three ways to describe a set. Okay, let's look at describing a set. First, describing a set in words. S is the set of all even integers less than 10. All positive integers less than 10. Okay, this is called describing by words. All positive integers less than 10. Okay, so how would we think about that? For number one, Describe out using words. Okay, number two. List 
Grouping all the elements. Okay, please think. All the elements in a set, in set notation. Okay, number three. We have describing also all the elements in a set, in set notation. Now, what's the difference between the second one and the third one? Listing means this. Positive even, right? Less than 10, right? So, it will be 2, 4, 6, and 1. Okay, because it's less than 10. This is called listing. You write everything up. Understand? Yes or no? This is called describing in words. This is called listing. Understand? What do you mean by describing in set notation? You always do this. X such that. 2 dot means such that. Huh? X such that. X is a positive even integer less than 10. Now, this three thing means the same thing. It's just that there are different ways to describe the set. You understand what I'm talking about here? I repeat, uh, this one is the most caveman one. Uh, you describe like that, you just know about it. Next one is what? What's this word here? This thing. This thing, you must write down this. This is called what? Describing. Using set notation. Okay? Now, usually when they describe like that, right? I, I don't like this one. I will straight away from equals to 2, 4, 6, 8. Can you see? Then you know which elements are inside. Because by that, very difficult to pick up. Understand what I'm talking about here? Can or cannot so far? Yes or no? So repeat that. There are three ways. Describe in words, list the elements, or describe in set notation. Set notation must be x such that x is blah blah. It can also be y such that y is blah blah. Up to you. Everybody clear? Everybody clear? Okay, huh? Eh? Alright, good. Now, next, we look at what is at the bottom of page 4. We read this as x is such that x is a positive integer less than 10. Now we told you the two dot is such that. Everybody okay? Can I? Okay, now then let me go on to work example 1. Now, so far, am I clear now? This is the way I teach you, okay? I don't care one, but must follow one. Okay, alright, now next one. Example 1, most likely you will be better in what I'm saying. Okay, now let's look at what example 1. It is given that A is a set X such that X is a positive integer such that X is bigger equals to 2 less than 11. Okay, and B is X. X is a positive integer between 3 and 11 inclusive. Okay. Now, can you see that this 2 is actually describing in set notation? Okay. Now, I usually don't like this. Huh? I'll write it down in words. And let me just caution you. You must look at this inequality sign very carefully. Whether it's an include or exclude. Do you understand? Okay, read properly first. X is a positive integer such that bigger equal to 2 less than 11. Okay? So what are the elements in A? 2 in a. Yes. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Right? Because it's less than 11. You must be careful though, cannot anyhow read in the exam. Huh? Now, next one. X is a positive integer between 3 and 11. Inclusive means what? We include the endpoints. Okay, so B will be what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, can you see that this is called describing in set notation? This is listing in set notation. Usually I will list because it's clearer to me. Everybody clear with what I'm saying? Okay? Alright, now, next part. Let's look at the question. Actually, I finished the question already. List all the elements in A and B in set notation. Now, can you see I've already done it already? Can you see it? The one in purple, okay? Now, next part B. 
sorry, part two. Do A and B contain the same elements? If not, explain why. Do they contain the same elements? Actually, it's very obvious. Can you see 2 is an element of A? But is 2 an element of B? No, 2 is not an element of B, right? It's also it's okay. Now, the rest are the same. Then actually, I can, other than this, I can list one more. What is that? 11, right? 11 is an uh, element of what? A, sorry, of B, correct? Right? But 11 is not an element of A. Am I right? Can you see what I'm talking about? So I'll revise it. I'll take it out for you. So I'll revise this two notation again. Are you all okay? Now, don't worry about the explain part. I'll teach you how to explain later on. Because there are a lot of explaining in some of the questions. I'll teach you a format of how to explain. Everybody clear? Okay? So, are you okay with uh, work example 1? Yes or no? But I'm carrying on now. Okay. What do you mean by equal sets? If A is 1, 2, 3, 4, and B is 2, 4, 1, 3, then all the elements of A and B are the same. That is, A is equal to B. Although the order of the elements are different in A and B. We also notice that if A is equal to B, then number of A is equal to number of B. Agree? Correct. Right okay, let me give you another example. Understand? Clear or not clear? Okay? 
or I can say, I want a dog with two legs. Now, of course, we'll say one uh, malfunction, the kind of thing. No, no, no. We just talk in general. Dogs must have how many legs? Four. Okay, so dogs with two legs will be also now set. Everybody clear? That means there's nothing in the set. Everybody clear? Okay? All right. So let's take a look at uh, page six. Okay? So, in other words, C is an empty set or a null set. We use the symbol zero with a cross, okay, to describe a set. That means C is equal to null set. Okay, now, then I want to know, what is the number of elements in a null set? How many elements are there in a null set? Zero. Understand? Number of elements in a null set is zero. Okay, then I want to ask you something. Because this one is a bit confusing to do the other side. Okay, I want to know here. People have a set, right? All the cards. This set contains zero. What's the number of elements in zero? One. Because when I set this in the set, you'll write zero. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That's the difference. Everybody clear? Can or cannot? Can, huh? Okay, good. So let's look at um, question number two. Okay, I want to look at what example two for me first. Two 
long except thin. Okay. This is normal. Yes, right now. Right now you do. You understand? Right now you can do two questions. You stay at me, you have nothing. Okay? So, all except 10. Do you follow? That means do what? One to what? Okay, let's please let's do homework, right? Homework to accept. Question one, someone? Two? Seven? Eight, nine, eleven. Eleven. Very good. How many elements are there in HW? Ten. Ten. Very good. So only ten question marks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Only ten question marks. Come on now. One minute. One question mark. Yeah, no. Okay. Do now. Do now. Don't talk. Tomorrow I'm going to. Uh, don't tell me when. Ah, uh. don't tell me before. Ah, uh. ask me again. I throw you out of the class. Okay. So tomorrow I'll be going through this and then I'll be going through the rest of the chapters on Venn diagrams and so on. Is everyone clear? Clear or not clear? Okay, uh, camera woman, stop the camera. Just press stop.